and the strategies are going to help you a lot. So first one is six times three. We're basically going to go six plus six plus six. So six plus six is 12 and 12 plus six. We're going to use our plus 12 strategy, which is turn it into a 10 plus six and then add the two to the back. So that'll make it easier. Seven times three is seven plus seven plus seven. I know seven plus seven is 14 and 14 plus seven. Well, I know if I change this into a six and a one, this is gonna make a group of 10 because 14 plus six is 20 plus one is 21. Eight times three, we're gonna do eight plus eight plus eight. 8 plus 8 is 16, and then I'm going to break this 8 into a plus 4 and a plus 4. And the reason why I'm going to do that is 16 plus 4 is 20, plus 4 is 24. All right, 4 times 4, 5 times 4, 6 times 4, and 7 times 4. We're going to use this strategy. 4 doubled is 8 and eight doubled is 16, five doubled is 10, and 10 doubled is 20. Six doubled is 12, and 12 doubled is, what's 12 plus 12? 24. Seven times four, we're gonna do seven doubled is 14, and 14 doubled is the same as 14 plus 14, it's 28. Eight times four, we're gonna double it and double it again. Eight doubled is 16, and then 16 plus 16. Well, I know that six plus six is 12, plus 10 is 22, plus 10 is 32. And then seven times seven is our football team, 49ers. Eight times eight, we're gonna remember I ate and I ate and I fell on the floor. Eight times eight is 64. Five times five kind of rhymes, but how many fives do we have here? We have two fives, it's 25. Six times six is 36, so we just remember that. Five times five is 25. Exactly. So that is the first part, and then times 11, we just double the number. So if I have five times 11, I'm gonna write the five two times, it's 55. Four times 11, I'm gonna write the number two times, 44. Six times 11, I'm gonna write the number two times, 66. Nine times 11, you're gonna write the number two times, 99. It only works for 2 times 11, 3 times 11, 4 times 11, 5 times 11, 6 times 11, 7 times 11, 8 times 11, and 9 times 11. But that's a lot, so we don't have to worry past there. I could show you another trick. And then just to go over our time zero strategy, times 1 and times 2 and times 10. Times zero, anything times zero equals zero. Anything times one equals itself. And then anything times two is the same as eight plus eight. Seven times two is the same as seven plus seven. Six times two is the same as six plus six. Five times two is the same as five plus five. And then our strategy for times 10 is you write a zero after the number. So you're going to take the five and you're going to put a zero after it. So like if it was eight times 10, anything times 10 equals uh, the number, but a zero back in the back. Yep. So it's 80. 